Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create animated background colors in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. We're going to give this page a name. So in my case, I'm just going to call this create animated background colors with Divi. I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. And then I'm also going to build from scratch. But of course, if you want to add this technique to an existing page, well, that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. And also, if you want to use the exact same colors and settings as I'm using throughout this video, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so let's start by adding some padding to our section. So I'm going to close this and then I'm going to click here on this gear icon to access my section settings. Click on design spacing. So we're going to start with the top padding and we're going to set this to 5VW and the bottom padding to 17VW. Now it's time to add a new column. So I'm going to save this, click this plus button and we're going to add a single column. Now let's make a few customizations to our column. So I'm just going to close this for now and click on my row settings. So in here, the first thing you want to do is to set our gutter. So I'm going to come away over here to design sizing. I'm going to click on use custom gutter width and set this to one. So I'm just going to drag the slider. Next, I need to also set my width and maximum width. So I'm going to scroll down here to spacing. Oh, in fact, you know what? We need to come over here to sizing and then just scroll down a bit. So by default, everything is set to auto. So what we need to do here is to add the actual percentages. So let's start with the width. So right now we are on 80%. So let's change this to 100%. So I'm just going to drag the slider all the way to 100%. And I'm going to do the same thing with the maximum width. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it over here like that. Right. So next, let's add a divider to our column. So I'm going to save changes. Click this plus button and I'm going to search for my divider, select it. So the first thing we're going to do here is to make sure that the divider doesn't actually show. So as you can see, this is the, the divider here. So I'm just going to disable that. Now let's go to the background settings of this divider. So I'm going to click over here and we're going to add our background color. So I'm going to click this plus button and paste my value in here. So this is a really dark gray. Now let's head over to spacing. So I'm going to come over here to design spacing. And here, as we did before, we're going to add our padding. So I'm going to start with my top and bottom padding. And here, this time, we're going to use VH. So I'm going to start here by adding my padding to my to my top. And since the bottom is going to be the same, I'm going to click on this chain. So the same amount is applied to the bottom as well. Now it's time to set our animation for our slider. So I'm going to come over here to animation. So what we're going to go with here is the slide. So I'm going to select it. So over here on the direction, we're going to set this to right. And over here on the intensity, we're going to set this to 88%. And on the starting opacity, we're going to set this to 100%. So I'm just going to drag the slider all the way up until I get to a, to 100%. Okay, so it's time now to start adding all our content. So I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to come over here and add a new module. So I'm going to click this plus button and search for my text module. I want to select it. And in here, I'm just going to replace this text with my dummy text here. And I'm also going to add my heading. So I'm just going to type here 01 research. And what we need to do as well is to set this to heading two. So I'm going to come over here to the top after highlighting it and setting to, set this to heading two. Now let's go to our text settings and customize our text. So I'm going to come over here. So for our text font, we're going to set this to Didact Gothic. So since I don't have it here on my drop down, I'll search for it. And this is a Google font. I'm going to select it. Now let's set our text size. So by default, it's set to 14 pixels. So here my text size is going to be 1.1 VW. Next, I'm going to come over here to my text line height. I'm going to set this to 2.1 EMs. And for my text orientation, I'm going to make sure it's set to justify. And then finally, for my color, I'm going to set this to white. So I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and just drag my slider all the way up until I have white. Now let's work on our heading two text. So as you can see here, this is left out because we're just working on the text. So I'm going to click here. 
on the brush tool. And for and for our font, we're gonna set it to a Brill fat face. We'll select it. Right, so over here, we're gonna set our text color. So I'm gonna click on this eyedropper tool and paste my value in here. Now, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link in the post in the show notes below. So now let's set our text size and this time we're gonna set this to 3VW and our line height is gonna be 1.8. So what we're gonna do slightly different here is we want to have a hover effect on our text color. So let's go ahead and set it up. So I'm gonna come over here to heading to text and click on this arrow and then click on the hover tab. So on the hover tab, we're gonna change this color here to white. So I'm gonna paste it like that and then save. So the next stage now is to clone both modules because we are going to be using these in the next example. So I'm gonna click here on expand settings and then I'm gonna come over here to the end where it says a wireframe view. Now the reason I'm, why I'm coming here is to just make sure that I'm duplicating the right items. So I'm gonna do that by just clicking here. So now I've duplicated these and all I have to do now is just drag it into position. Okay, so next I'm gonna switch back over here to my to my front view and this is how it's supposed to look. So what we need to do next is to come over here to the divider that we've just duplicated and change the background color. So I'm gonna click here on my module settings, click on background, and then I'm gonna paste my color in here. Now, if you want, uh, as I mentioned before, if you, want to use, if you want to use the exact same colors, I'll leave a link to the post in the show notes below. But of course you can use your own colors that work with your branding. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is to change the animation. So I'm gonna click here on design, animation. So over here, uh, our settings were set to animate right. So this time we need to change this to left. And then over here on our animation delay, we're gonna set this to 1500. Now let's head over to the text module. So I'm gonna save this. So since the top one here is 01 research, let's change this to 02 strategy. So I'm just gonna do some inline editing here just to save myself time. So now let's go in and make some changes to our text module. So right now I don't see where to click in order for me to do my edits. So I'm gonna come over here to my wireframe mode and then I'm gonna click on this gear icon here and then click on design. So back over here so I can see what I'm working on. So this is where now I'm gonna go in and customize this heading text. So I'm gonna click here on this little brush tool. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to change my alignment to right. So I'm gonna come over here, set it to right. We're gonna change the heading to text color. So I'm gonna click on this eyedropper tool and paste my values in here. Now this next move is to allow some white space to show up on the right of the first divider module. So to do that, I'm just gonna save this. And then I'm going to go into my divider settings, click on design, spacing. So over here, first of all, I'm gonna set my margin of 2VW, just to give this some breathing space here on the top. And then we're also gonna add some white space on the left margin. So I'm gonna come over here and set it at 20 VW. Okay, so now we've introduced some white space over here. Now we need to do something similar as well to the top one. So I'm just gonna uh, scroll to the top, click here on module settings, design, spacing. And over here, we're gonna set this to the right. Okay, and we've also introduced some white space over here. So now that we've customized everything, the next stage is to create some overlaps. So let's start with our first text module. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon, design, spacing. So here we need our text here to be easier to read on this dark background, because remember, we set our text to white. So let's add our top margin. So I'm gonna come over here, and this has to be a negative margin for this to work. So I'm gonna add minus 49. So over here to the right, I'm gonna add 20 VW. And then over here on the padding, I'm gonna add 10 VW here and 26 VW. So pretty much that's all we need to do for now. So I'm gonna save this. Now let's go to text module two. So we need to come over here to design spacing. So as we did before, we're gonna add a margin of minus 49 VH, a lift margin of 20 VW. And then we're also gonna add some padding. So here it's gonna be 26 VW and 10 VW. So now let's save and exit the visual builder. So I'm gonna click on publish, exit visual builder. And now we can see our animating coming in. And when I mouse over here, you can see that we have this animation going on here. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.